Breaking news, Nigerians. Farad finally emerges. Tinubu saga may repeat that Odili working for Bola Tinubu to massively influence tribunal judgment. And these have got Nigerians talking. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Mary Peter Odili, a retired justice of the Supreme Court of Nigeria, has denied the allegation of base and corrupt practices. Claims were ripped on social media that Mrs. Odili was working with judges at the Court of Appeal to ensure that the case brought by opposition members against President Bola Tinubu is ruled in favor of the incumbent Nigerian leader. Smart campaign Odili fames at allegation. Peter Obi, flag bearer of the Labour Party, and Alaji Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party PDP, are challenging the outcome of the February 25th, 2023 election, which was won by Tinubu, at, which was won by Tinubu, at the tribunal. Jackson Ude, a Twitter user, had alleged that Peter Odili is helping President Tinubu secure a favorable judgment at the tribunal. Reacting to the allegation in a press release signed by Felix Enebeli, a spokesman, Odili described the claim as false and malicious, the cable reported. A report by Leadership Newspaper on Thursday, August 10, also noted Odili's reaction. The statement partly reads, We deny every allegation contained in the publication and state that the publication is false, malicious, mischievous, and deliberate attempt at smar smearing the integrity and solid reputation of her lordship. More, furthermore, Enabeli stated that Odili's lawyers are on the issue and have demanded a, 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 a retraction and public apology from Ude. Nigerians have reacted to this. Are these bingos, obituaries, has come again? So, Fela is no more writing, uh, Fashola is no more writing judgment for the uh, presidential election judges. It is now Mary Odili. That is, that is influencing the, the judges. It is after the judgment has been written by Fashola. Now is now Mary Odili. But she has debunked the claim as first now. There is absolutely no need for the insult, please. So long as Nwike is in Tinubu's government, Mary Odili will continue to press the button in her paymaster's favor. But why? But they are not superior to God Almighty. God passed them. Someone said, Mary, God will definitely punish you. That is harsh. Uh, she has denied it. She has debunked the news. What a man can do, a woman can do for. What a man can do, a woman can do far better, madam. Just try it and see. God will surely visit you and your family. Okay, guys, um, I have so many unfriendly uh, messages here. But let us talk about this. What do you think that is, you know, generating all these things? It's because Nigerians, they do not trust Nigerian judiciary. They don't see many cases like that. When they say, see me, see you, eh? They see the evidence. Say that one, no, go, go. But court will tell you, say, you go. Ah, you look and left. Why you not look and the other way? That is why you did not see it clearly. But you saw it. So all these things is just fears. Whether not true, whether it not be true, if it not be true, eh, uh -huh, not fear. Say these people feel do something, you know, very dangerous because they are used to all these things. If the judges know they do things like this, I don't think all these things will be associated to them. I'm talking about the judiciary. If if their hands don't they, they claim tete, I'm not sure say 
anyone will come and say, see, this is what you are planning. This is what, what you want to do. It's because they don't already stand their names. With this case now before them, they have to tell Nigerians that they are no longer what they thought they are. They have to prove Nigerians wrong. You understand? By doing the need for stand for, for the right, you know, uh, 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 justice. Nigerians are saying, we do not want anything from you. Or what we are asking right now is just verdict. Give it to us. You know what happened? And with all these things before you, even a layman out there can tell you, I see, this is how it's supposed to be. Person when they say, you not even go law school. They understand what they happen. Since they started this uh, presidential election uh, petition court, Nigerians when they say they not even know what in uh, law they talk. You can see them talking about it. You understand? Because they have been, you know, uh, enlightened. That see, this is how this is supposed to be. This is this this and that and all that. It not be like that. So everybody don't they are aware. Whether na room or no, or not be room on. May the justice, uh, the judges stand for the right part. Then they talk say court. Na him be last man hope. Do we still have something like that? Do the poor still have hope on the on the courts? Do they still believe in them? Do they still trust in them? Because this is where the problem lies. You have to make Nigerians trust you again. The fact remains that the lives of Nigerians, Nigeria as a country, is now in the pan of judiciary. They will be the one to say, oh, Nigeria exists or not. The way the whole thing they go. I beg, make a drop and for you. I can share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.